Did y'all pull y'all shots yet? Yes, the shot has yeah. been pulled. Y'all okay? Y'all got chases? What the fuck type shot is that, yo? He said pull half Yeah, pull half, bro. They, they double shot, so I'm just trying to save y'all from y'all, so. Oh, I'll do it next time. And you know, ne- next time, oh, last time, Mel was like dead. But she won't dead, you when know you what I'm saying? About, oh, when she was in the bed. Um, yeah, she she, the she was done, but but I think a big part Somebody of that was. Somebody put that trash can in the fucking bed, bro. I, I did, I did. I put that it in the trash can, but but fuck. she also mixed liquors when uh, Joe showed up. Yeah, she was doing uh, she was doing uh, dark, and then she went to the white. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Tell me something she ain't know. How you ain't fucking tell me. <laughs> so you mean, it was you. tequila. <laughs> I thought you could do oh, that God. with tequila. Oh. I could have sworn I did it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm about to say, and, and with the same result. <laughs> it's like, the reason you don't remember. Then you notice I only took <laughs> one shot of that shit. I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. Ain't nobody about to say nothing to me about it. Uh, it, was, we, it was a celebration. <laughs> I, just, we don't celebrate that way. Listen, I'm just, man, I'm, you could have just drunk Jose instead of drinking that Kevin Hart shit. You know that, right? Well, Ooh. why you ain't him? You bought it with me. Right, but we drunk some, right? We, Drink this a bitch. I'm just saying, we ain't had to drink that. You ain't got my back. That's Ooh. what it looks like. Damn. All right, are y'all ready to start? No, no, we're not. All right, let's start. Five, four, three, two, we. one. To the Fuller Podcast, I'm your host Avery Fuller with my co-host and host this, of course, Maurice Bird, aka Reese, and that wife of mine's Melanie Fuller, aka Mel. What up? What up? What's it up, is bro? episode five. Really? Episode five. We five episodes mm. in. That's All crazy. Right now, I got a five-year-old. Time flies when you have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> So, how y'all doing today? I'm straight. You know I'm mean? good. Good, good, good. Hey, that's a nice looking fellow on your shirt over there, girl. I just wanted to point that out to you. Oh, yeah. Yes, you sir. So? Mm-hmm. Mm, Very nice fine. looking fellow. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Eat him right on up. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Is, is, <laughs> hold on. Wait. Is that masturbation? What? What? The fuck just happened? That went left. But, um, okay. you lost it's me. episode five, and... Uh, the one thing that we always do, we make sure that we do, is we drink responsibly. Yes. So I always recommend Absolutely. drinking plenty of water. Beforehand. Beforehand and during. During and, during and after. You know, just to make sure that you have a great day tomorrow. And that don't mix liquors. Definitely don't mix liquors. <laughs> why? <laughs> but why? Don't do it. <laughs> don't up. do You're it. You're talking to the trash can. <laughs> but with that said, <laughs> drink responsibly and put them shots up because it is shot o'clock and it is time to throw it back. Yep. Ah. Oh, Reese made an ugly face this week. Oof. Reese made the Lorenz tape. <laughs> you said it because you know it's true all right let's get to the icebreaker let's get to the icebreaker the icebreaker is just like last week the icebreaker is gonna be um would you rather all right so my question is and and i'm gonna keep it a little simple would you rather go to a beach or go to a resort Reese. Mm. Uh, I, I I would probably go to to the resort myself because they're gonna have a pool there. Okay. And I can eat. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean that that makes sense. What about you, man? That was the first thing I thought about was food. <laughs> <You're great. laughs> when you go to a resort, the food is all included. Everything is there. Um. So yeah, you got everything at your fingertips. You got a pool, and sometimes the resorts are on the beach. So. 
two for one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's that's kind of surprising um, coming from you, man, because you're a real beach person. I know, you know I what love I'm the saying? beach, but, but the resort could be on the beach. No, we obviously if it's between the beach and the resort, the resort is not on. Well, the beach. you didn't specify I don't have where the to. resort was. Common sense says. No, nope, no, that's not common sense. Why, why would I use a resort that's on the beach if the beach is the other option? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm in agreement with y'all. I would go to the resort as well because number one, I'm not really a beach person, but I feel like the resort would be more of an experience. Not that the beach won't, but. It's a bunch of risk that involved that's involved with the beach, like the heat. That sand. You know. Smoking. The sand. Mm-hmm. And every time I go to the beach, I come back tired. Well, it's that water. And Bruh. that sand is a workout. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Absolutely. All right, let's get into our TV show of the week. Our TV show of the week is going to be Amazon Prime's own The Boys. Hmm. The Boys is a superhero show that um, yeah. is pretty much superheroes that do bad shit, I guess, if that makes sense. Hmm. So um, I want y'all input. I want to know how y'all feel about The Boys and, and uh, would you prefer over um, the Marvel shows? So I'm going to start with you, Mel. Well, I would not prefer over the Marvel shows because Marvel is Marvel, you know, for me. Um, but the boys was good. It was um, <laughs> superheroes trying to keep up their good name, but in the background they were doing all kinds of horrible stuff to make themselves look good. Right, right. Who was the superhero? What, what it was, was interesting. Uh, what was the superhero? The it was main, a bunch of superheroes. The, the main guy. The, the one with the blonde hair that was killing everybody. Yes, and <laughs> had that it? secret cabin with the guy who could transform. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro! I just got a brain fire. I forgot the shit out of his name. What? I, I did too. I forgot his name. Um, but he controlled everybody. He was scary. He he, to be honest, he wasn't really scary. He was just strong, and he drunk uh, he, he was baby strong. milk. <laughs> He could you know, fly. He wanted he, breast milk he, a yeah, lot. You know what I'm saying? Breast like, milk. Oh god, it was breast it was weird. Milk. But but um. Let's check out a scene from it that that oh my I god. found to be interesting. Oh my god. Oh my Hell god. no. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Invitation. I got your invitation right here. Hey. Starlight. I did not even recognize you. Come in. You are more than welcome to party. Party? Yeah. The 70th anniversary of Herogasm. Fuck me. Oh, shit. You seem familiar. You about to get familiar with these hands if you don't get this motherfucking love sausage away from my goddamn face. Okay, okay, okay. You're not soup. I'm with her. For the fuck party. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. No, he's very good at cunnilingus. Yeah, his tongue is what? just, yeah. He just gobbles that vagina right up. Nom, 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 nom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Love sausage. Homelander. Homelander, that was yes, his name. Yes, that yeah. was his name. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, gosh. All right, so as y'all saw that scene, the dude had a giant pecker wecker. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Wait. So what y'all think about that scene? Um, Ill. <laughs> right. On so many levels, just ill. I mean, as a man, you know, you have hopes and dreams. <laughs> it's oh, my dream. You hope and dream <sighs> of stuff like that. Bruh. You know what I mean? But as uh somebody who just standing there and see something like that just <laughs> Bruh. just strolling around <laughs> yeah. uh-uh. Bruh. casually. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm good. If when you, you met me, right, our first time we about to go do whatever we were gonna do. And you walk in the room <laughs> and then John is over <laughs> there on the couch. This day just pop up like he, he like, yo, what, what what side you want? How long you want it to be today? Bruh. Uh-uh. That's crazy. It's a mm. buffet of, of meat. You know that's, what I mean? It's that's, a buffet. That's crazy. All the that's length crazy. you want. Absolutely. But but it's a hell of a show. It's a great show. I, I enjoy it. It's about to come out. They got a, a spinoff actually called Gen V that's about to come out in September. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that as well. But the show itself is good. I think it's three or four seasons in. Uh, the hero. It's two it, right now. No. It's three? It's four, actually. Hmm. 
So definitely check it out on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's definitely a, a, a must watch in my opinion. Reese, you got a you you think that's better than any of the Marvel shows? This this out. Well, there is a new Marvel show that I haven't yet to catch, but I keep hearing horrible things about. What? The Invasion. I heard that is real bad. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, no oh. sir. It's not bad. Listen, I just watched uh um. I haven't like got a, a chance. Don't don't give me no spoilers because you know. Well, I haven't watched it yet either, but I seen it on TikTok where the dude did one of those um, blow his, his mind type of things, and you haven't watched the show at all. The invasion? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so but I know so, the premise and stuff like that. Well, um, you know those things, those green yeah, things, um, the green things, that right? Trans- change people. Change well, people. in one of the joints, Mel, you remember how they had them in the chamber things? How they was putting people in those chambers? And then they are switching to that person. Mm-mm. Damn, you won't watch it either. No, she won't. Watch but that's all right. So must have missed that. Anyway, what you you learn is, um, Rody. Rody was been, has been in one of those things for seven years. So all the movies he was just in won't him. Yeah, and they, and then, um, and you were funny because I I know exactly oh, what wow. you're talking about. They're like Pete. He wears the braces, and some of them. And then was it in game? He's not wearing the brace anymore. Something like right. that, right? It, it won't him at all. He it was in one of the, those chambers. Yeah. And they actually saved him from it in the evasion show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you know how Marvel does. They like to play on your mental. Yeah, of course. Detail-oriented. It's crazy. Marvel it, is just... Listen, it's, it's... They do it so right. Don't they? You know, Blade, they about to do a Blade. Yeah. But oh, that's why, that's why that. two reasons. I don't let nobody tell me their personal opinion towards it. No, no. In I, a sense you know, of I, me... You know me. You know, I'm, I'm the same way. It's a lot of movies that people say... Were no good now watching and be like what are they talking exactly about? exactly i don't i don't like personal opinion because i'm i'm biased anyway all right well next up we got a, the movie of the week the movie of the week is dungeons and dragons that movie came out about a couple of months ago um and man it was a surprise to, to me uh but before i go in mail how you feel about that movie i thought the movie was really good um i don't play the game um but the movie ended up being extremely good. Um, they did a good job with the characters and everything. Mm-hmm. I, I liked it a lot. Okay. All right. What about you, Reese? Yeah, you know, it's one of those movies where it was perfectly cast. It had the right amount of funny. It, had, it gives you everything. Right. And you know me. I'm, I'm a stickler for everything. If they give me laugh, emotion, everything, I'm, I'm all good. I mean, it was, it's a movie I randomly just watch. If I'm not, if I'm bored or something like that, mm-hmm. and um, it's just a perfectly cast movie. I, I could see them keep going with that series, um, as long as they just continue doing what they're doing. Some when they some get movies that they get from video games, they don't do it well, like Assassin's Creed. Oh mm-hmm. my God, Assassin's Creed was a movie that I feel like they failed. Um, they with, they with definitely could have did a better job, way better job. And, and it's weird because it had they done a better job, it would have been, it would have um, been, it would have been blockbuster, right? It would have developed into a franchise. To me, type uh, of those video game movies. I'm sorry to cut you off, uh-huh. but those video game movies, they already have a blueprint. <laughs> like right, they exactly. Have a, they have a exactly. perfect blueprint, and in most cases, they got multiple right. games. They got multiple so, games. They have a perfect, and I mean, Assassin's Creed to me is like a movie if you ever play it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah know absolutely. I mean? They have a perfect, easy blueprint where all they got to do is just take it from the video game and bring it to reality. And, and right. for some reason, the writers, directors want to just put their own little spin on it. And it, and sometimes it comes out okay, but on Assassin's Creed was one of those movies it just didn't. But Dungeons and Dragons, I I'm, I personally never played the game either. Right, but. It was. I didn't need to play the game to watch the movie. Like it, it was perfect. I've never heard anybody complain about it. Yeah, it's crazy because it, it's to me, it was more than a movie, right? Because it was everything collectively. It was how colorful it was. Yeah, it was. You it know was, what I'm saying? Yeah. It it catered to the fantasy aspect. Yeah. It catered to the video game aspect. It catered to every portion of it, um, from creativity. It it was one of those, and then it had a perfect ending. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it wasn't where the ending was incomplete or there was a complaint. It was a witch that they pretty much went up against and they killed the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, you know, just killed the bitch. When okay. it ended that way, and then they gave all the people the money back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it ended that way, that's kind of what you you look for. 
And I'm gonna be honest, man. This it's it's definitely um, a must watch. It so, definitely is. It's on know, Paramount right now. When you get time, hey, take it out. Take take your time, watch it, enjoy it, because I know I did. Uh, so let's get into some news, man. Uh, LeBron James' son, Bronny James, uh, he is mm-hmm. actually um, playing at USC, but he collapsed while he was working out with the team and oh, went into artisan. cardiac arrest. Yeah, cardiac arrest. Uh, and, you know, he's only 18, uh, and we've seen that happen in many of our days to His players who, who didn't come back from Sharif it. Sharif had it. Remember with Sharif? Right. Yeah, His yeah, yeah. His best he, friend he, had Actually, Sharif had surgery Yeah, He had this. Open yeah. heart surgery. Open heart surgery. You know oh what I'm gosh. saying? Yeah, and he was. I mean, almost the same situation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And and, and don't get, get me wrong. It's it's a tough pill to swallow, right? Because when you think about what happened with Demar Hamlin, you know, in the midst of the game, even though his was contact based, yeah, you know, it's still just one of those things where one of those fluke things. It was like one in one million. It's like one in one thousand chance. It was a uh, he when he got hit. The rhythm of the heart, the way he hit it, and the, at the time he hit it to stop the heart, it was crazy. I think the craziest thing is the person that it chose. The person? Yeah, like for it to be Bronny James, for yeah. it to happen and to. We're, we're sure he has the top medical, you know, advice all, all the way through. You know what I'm and, saying? Uh, so it's it's just it's tough to see that. And he's a baby, bro. Like, <laughs> like he's yeah, what man. 18, 19? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how, how do you think? Do do you think it's any kind of way that um, we can overcome these type of things? Like, you think it's a, a I'm using the term racial thing because I mean, to be honest, I've heard about it happening more to black people than white people. Well, I mean, personally, I had a heart attack myself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I was I'm I was forty when I had it. Um, I'm forty one right now. I literally. Had my birthday I, I, a week before my forty first birthday, uh, and I, I consider myself a fairly healthy person. Um, I don't say I don't, I'm not a I don't work out, but work that I do mm-hmm. is, is is strenuous work where you do have to be um, physically intensive work. Right, where you have to be a certain level of 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 um, athletic uh, ways, or whatever. And what the doctor told me, it was nothing I did wrong. It was just genetics. Right. And that's just sometimes that's just what it is. My doctor, he was a fairly healthy person and he was healthy. He works out every day. He told me, but he takes cholesterol. You know, we just got to be more mindful of our family history. And really, as men, I think really as men, we have to go go to that doctor twice a year. Right. You got to make that appointment. I I get it, you know, because sometimes we like. When you go, they tell you this, and then you know they find all these problems. But you want them to find that problem before it's a permanent problem. Luckily for me, I found out before I had full heart failure, and my my private my personal physician told me. She said I was a couple of days away from mm, damn. complete heart failure, and who knows? That's a roll of the dice. You know what I mean? I could have I couldn't be here today, but. Yeah. Um, you know, and like I said, I went there and I found out other things is going on with me, too. But those things, now that I found it early, I can get it corrected, or I can I can change my diet and everything like that. So I really think it's a it's a it's really a man thing. I don't think it has a color. I don't think it's a, a black. Well, I really do think as black people, and especially black men, mm-hmm. we had to put this this role of being super strong and going to the doctor. It, it puts us in a position of being feeling weak, you know what I mean. And um, when you realize that, you just gotta gotta go get yourself checked. All right. Well, look, let's take our first break, man. Coming up, we got some um, alien news uh, and plenty more. So uh, we'll be back. We'll highlight you in a few. The full podcast. Welcome back to the Fuller Podcast. I'm your host, Avery Fuller, with my co-host, Mel and Reese. And we've been over here getting lit, you know what I'm saying, like we normally do. Um, And if you don't know, uh, it's that time again. Hmm. Shot of clock. So uh, let's put them up. And for those at home, drink responsibly. Drink some water. Don't throw up. It's not my fault. It's your own. And don't mix liquors. 
definitely don't mix liquors. Don't be male. Wait don't be male. You ain't got to gotta put can. no name out there. Just saying. And long conversation with the trash can. Well, that's it. <laughs> throw it back. <laughs> well, she ain't throw up, though. No, she, she didn't. She it down. Right. She was just talking to it. She just felt like she was for the whole goddamn day. <laughs> it's all right. Look at that face again. Whew. She be blowing and shit like it's hot. Yeah. What's she cooling on? Shit. Her breath hot <sighs> anyway. <sighs> ah, shit. Wrong. <laughs> all right, let's get back into it, man. Let's get back into some, some news. So, me and Mel, we had this conversation um, earlier. There was a conference or um, like a meeting. It was a hearing. A hearing. There you go. Boom. About UAPs. UAPs is pretty much non-human biologicals. And yes. pretty much what happened in that He swore under oath now. He swore under oath. Actually, this is one of the, this is, this is a clip of what he said. They retake. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, Eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. Yeah. So, from what I'm seeing, from what I'm hearing, is that they have ships um, that was either landed or crashed. They have the bodies of the non human biologicals. Quote unquote. Quote unquote. Right. And did y'all know a fun fact that the crash that they're referring to took place in Virginia Beach? Didn't know that. So mm -hmm. they, and, and then he said that they got a lot of non biologicals. Yeah, it's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's, it's really uh, tough to watch. Not knowing what to expect, not knowing what's there, not knowing, you know, how this shit could turn out, bro. Right? Like, so based on what we just watched, I want to know y'all thoughts and um, your insight. Mel, start with you. I mean, I know they said that, you know, it's been a lot over the years, but it seems like there have been multiple sightings. <clears throat> in the air recently so i don't know what's going on but it would it, it kind of makes you think what you're gonna do or what do you need to do and they need to start um speaking up they need to start letting people know like what's going on um if this is an actual threat um or not so i mean i just don't know what to think at this point I get it. I get it. What about you, Reese? Um, I just feel like it's harder to hide now. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where back in the day, hey, I see an alien. Oh, no, whatever. Now everybody has a camera phone. Everybody has a ring camera. Everybody has access to the Internet. It's just one of those things where they're like, you know what? We can't hide this anymore. Let's stop playing the game. Let's stop lying to these people. Um, as far as the threat wise, you gotta understand they came from outer space. We have nothing <laughs> that could deal with that. It's it's crazy mm -hmm. that you, you said that because they said that their technology is far more advanced they, than ours. They, I mean, you gotta think, even if we haven't we haven't even been to Mars. <laughs> You're talking about somebody who's coming we don't even have the speed of light, light years, light years away is is a, is crazy. If you really do the mathematics and speed, we don't even have the technology to even fathom. And even I heard about Richard Nixon supposed to sign the treaty back in the day about with the aliens and they uh, extinguished 
uh, pass through technologies and all that other. You can go down that rabbit hole yourself if you want to. I mean, it is what it is. I, I always tell anybody, if you really think you're the only person in this universe, you have a simple thinking mind. You have a small-minded person. Even if whoever you believe in, if you believe he only created the planet Earth, why would he claim, create other planets uh, and other universes just for us to only exist? I mean, it's it's one of those things. I just feel like they can't hide it anymore. Uh, listen, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You feel like they can't hide it no more, but... First and foremost, they've been doing a good goddamn job of hiding that shit. <laughs> like, like, no matter which way you, you put it, they've been hiding the fuck out of it because um, at the end of the day, it's one of those things that can't nobody really say they ever really can confirm it. Well, you know what I'm saying? You can say... It's well, all been a that, conspiracy. But would you believe it? Uh, see, that's how they do. They spin everything. They can put a conspiracy theory it's, on it's it. It's not spent as a conspiracy. It's considered a conspiracy because ain't nobody never seen it. Ain't nobody that, never actually... That you will believe. Remember, they've been abducting. They said people have been in abductions. They've been Bruh. having probes. The primary question is, why is that one person is the only person who's been abducted and that anybody There's know anything multiple about? Multiple people. Not just one. It's, it's thousands and thousands of people. All I'm simply saying stories. is, all I'm simply saying is, is in the event that it actually happened, there will be some significant evidence that is clear as day. It wouldn't be hearsay. It wouldn't be based on somebody else saying it but not being able to prove it. It would be clear, literally. And it's not clear. Everything that we are basing this conversation off of is off of what one man is saying, and we still don't have any significant evidence to support it. We yes. are just literally feeling like that, yo, this shit is coming to the forefront because he spoke on the oath. Had he not spoke on the oath, we would have been looking at it as if, oh, uh, bro, whatever. That's what they but do But there's best. been sightings, though. There's Plenty been, of sightings. There's been things in the air that they cannot explain that's been, um, like, UFO stands through. for unidentified flying object. That's true. Right? So in the event that they can't identify what's being flying in the air, it's just because they... Right. It don't mean it's alien. It just means that they can't identify what it is. There's been a lot of them, though. You no, know, but that's my... my Biggest thing is, you know, them not being able to identify it does not automatically make it alien or non-human. It could be remote control for all they know or we know. You know what I'm saying? But for it to be no significant evidence for us to not have any <laughs> any visual whatsoever, because let's face it, we're in an era where there is phones. It is videos all day long, right? So any event that somebody stumble across that, What's the first thing that's gonna happen? They're gonna pull out their camera phone. Right? Yeah. Now, now let's say we hear well somebody pull out a camera phone and, and they say the aliens took my phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be argumentative, right? That that might be like, well shit, his phone is missing, but we can uh follow what is it, uh find my iPhone and <laughs> shit. And if we find my iPhone and shit and it's in Mars, then it's in we Mars. know what time it is. What? Bro, the you know moment what that I look on find my iPhone and my joke <laughs> says Mars. <laughs> you trying to you trying to ping it? You trying to bro, listen? Bro. Oh my gosh, no! But, you but, go Facetime it and. And it's 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 a it's an alien talking about what's up. Yeah, right. that's funny. But it, I mean, if there is some kind of threat, they need to they need to start letting people know like what's going the on. They need to be upfront about they, it. I because mean, yeah, they if do. there's a threat, guess what? There's not. They're not going to tell us because you know what that's going to start. It's going to start a panic. But but you know something? Even right now, the shit is still considered a conspiracy. It, it, you know what right. I'm saying? I mean, like you, like if you ask somebody. If you ask me, I say, "Oh yeah, there's aliens." That's one thing. I'm not under oath. I'm not. I'm not swearing on the Bible. This man went to Congress in a national, on national TV, risking whatever type of security. I've seen him before, actually. I've heard. I've, t I've seen interviews of him before, and his story is consistent. He was top, you know, secure, security clearances was crazy, and he spoke on it. For him huh. to come up there and be up front and be like, you know what? I really just think he's just a figurehead. They say, you know what? Hey, we're gonna put it in. A, we're gonna put it out there. And even when it's put out there, look how calm people are reacting to it. It's not a big major thing. We got other things going on. You know, gas price high, groceries is crazy. You know, we we ain't even farting on that. The man just straight up admitted that the United States government has aliens. So, so I think this is my my biggest thing about that. Again, I'm a I'm a um, 
more realistic person, right? And I like to look at the realistic side of things. I don't know nothing about him, right? He come out there, he's swear on, on the oath. He say his his peace, and that's perfectly fine. But who's to say he ain't lying? I Just mean, because he yeah. swear on the oath. Niggas swear on the oath all the time and be lying. I mean, you know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, you go it's to just, court. I told the time too old. Yeah, uh, uh-uh, I know. I ain't do that. Mm, nah, mm, not guilty. I mean, right. you right. You right. But it's one of those things. It's like oh, wow. No. Yeah. It was all about to me. Like what? What was his? What was his end game? For I him get to it. even say that. So, so. Right. With that said, let me ask you this: What would you do if he is right? And let's just say hypothetically, because let's let's if we refer back to. Even on TMZ, and I'm a big TMZ person, but even on TMZ, some people in Vegas said that alien ship had crashed in their oh, backyard. Did you see the footage of the alien running across the jungle? That won't that won't actual footage, but I, I know exactly what you you talking in about. Mexico. Well, in in Vegas, they said that it was like yeah, it was a eight crash to ten feet and tall. And the, and the and police and all that, had, right? And the police mm-hmm. had a little a little video. Don't you know? To see the eyes during the gate. I, I know what you're talking about. So, my thing is. Now what? What is your approach to non-human existence hey, on look, planet Earth in the event that right. you know? Let's just say it's here. What do you do? I'm black. I'm going. He he walked that way. I'm going the other way, bro. <laughs> like, what I'm gonna talk to him about? Do, you just say what, fuck it. I'm out of here. Like what? That, now no all the way he'd be like, if he speak English, <laughs> which is gonna really freak me the fuck out. Oh man. Just imagine he'd be like, yo, what's up, bro? Huh? Like hold on. Now we might have a conversation. But other than whatever you talk. <laughs> I'm gone, oh bro. I'm not, what, what am I oh, talking to him about? He eight feet tall. He no, I'm what, no, there's no yeah. conversation being had. He could whoop your yeah, ass. Exactly. <laughs> like and how you explain that to anybody? <laughs> what happened? How you got that black eye, man? I got my ass yeah, by dusted him. my ass <laughs> off. Like, no, oh, like, yo, like, no. Man, what about you, man? What would you, you do in the event that, you know, it's confirmed, you know, it's an eight foot motherfucking non human biological walking around on the planet? What you do? I mean, I'm gonna stay the hell away from it, of course. But um, you know me. We need to go on, on down to the gun shop. We need to go oh, get what we need. She gonna start world. She gonna start the she world. Start the world. No, no, no. We we <laughs> pack this stuff up in the house. No, we, we need to stockpile because I don't know what's gonna happen. So, so I. They need to talk about what's the weaknesses. Perfect scenario, right? What? Let's say one, one day, Reese, you at the crib, and I'm talking about here. May you here? <laughs> We all here. We we watching TV. Matter of fact, you know, hell, we could even be watching a fucking alien movie. The nigga hit the ring, ring, and, and look, <laughs> uh-uh. no, the ring camera. You know how we open the curtains and shit. Let's say we look out there and we see an alien walking down the street. Nigga, we gonna close them curtains. What exactly. <laughs> okay. Yes. Exactly. We closing them. Then he knock on the door. Cut the lights yeah. off. Oh all right, we gonna you we let gonna him keep, keep like, walking yeah. down the street. What you mean? So, so you ain't gonna try to like? No. Hey, no. Hey, nigga. No, sir. Hey, why the, why the alien gotta be a nigga? Uh, uh, what you, hey. hey, green gigger. Obviously, he ain't human, so I could call him anything. Yeah. Him gotta buy by nope. none of the laws. We not calling him at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's the moment you so, call him when going I out see the back something though. weird so you walking try to down kill him? the street, what you want to try to kill him? Or no, no, don't mess with him. If he ain't messing with us, we're gonna act like we ain't seen him. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say that, but I'm gonna act like I mean, he don't mess with me, I ain't messing with him. We ain't none of my we, business, exactly. He, he stay over there, I'm gonna stay over here. The moment he noticed you see him, what you think is gonna happen? I don't know. All right, all right so, so look. All right, let's let's transition a little bit then. All right, so let's say something happened, right? Aliens come and, and they invade our, our planet. Oh god! Right, and we gotta go to a designated location, and you gotta take three things with you. Just three. You could only take three things with you, kind of like a long mail. What would you bring? Like it's, it's, uh. This is a desert. With, they got food there already. No, yeah, no, yeah like right, right. Explain. Yeah, tell me what so, it is. So, so no, this is this is literally like alone. You are you you got to go to this place. You got to kind of build your own shit up, but you can only bring three things with you. All right. <laughs> what yeah. three things are you bring? <laughs> That's. T- oh my god. <laughs> I'm bringing. Yeah. A, I'm bringing a, well, a gun with ammo. Does that count as two or just one? That's just one. Okay, I'm bringing me a, a gun. I'm gonna bring me something. 
like a um, like a torch. Probably I'd rather have matches. Uh, many the biggest book of matches of, in history. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the wooden jump. Uh huh. And and I watch the little naked and afraid. I don't bring me a pot so I can boil me some water. This nigga brought the weirdest shit ever, bro. What about you, man? Um, Any idea? Got to drink. Got water. Without water, you're not gonna survive. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely gonna bring my guns. Or oh, I can only have one gun. Mm-hmm. One gun. One gun. Dang. All right. I'll bring my gun. Um, so the bunker that we go into, I just want to make sure we. It's clear. not a bunker. It's outside. It's outside. The island. I told you, just like alone. Yeah. So there's no food. Correct. It's just like alone. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen. Don't don't come for Say me. One more time. Shut up. I need to bring some food. Um, <laughs> I need to bring. She food. gonna bring a piece of chicken. Shut up. I need you to bring, some, bring one other thing. It's I need to bring things. some food or some. Yeah, that's, um, that's, I'm gonna bring some. Food. What do you call it? Some um, some seeds so I can plant some food or something. I don't know. Woman, by the time those seeds grow, you're gonna be dead, dead. Why am I gonna be dead Damn. for? I, I, how Bruh. long do you think it takes for plants to grow? Oh my gosh! What, what the fuck is happening? Listen. Anyway, I need uh, so, a line so I can catch some fish. So first and foremost, I'm gonna bring a survival kit. Well, I'm just saying okay. that's cheap. Hold on, that is cheap. Hey, no, that's no, more bro. than two no. days. You tried it. I'm gonna bring a whole okay. survival right, book bag. Exactly. First off, like, first off, exactly. First off, I could bring three things, right? I'm gonna and bring if, a survival book bag. If my survival kit come with a bunch of shit, just come with a bunch of shit. That's not my oh, problem. Man, no, oh no. man, Thank wrong around. I can't nah. believe you said. That. Yeah, you just straight cheated. cheated huh? okay. Well, if that's the case, yes, I will have a survival kit, a first aid kit, or would it be in shit. the survival kit? I'm gonna bring me a, a, I cannot a survival you. kit full of food. Man, man you just <laughs> said you're gonna bring food. I'm not talking to you. You Mr. First, I'm gonna bring a survival yeah. kit. What's gonna happen when the fucking food is gone? You should be thinking about bringing things that can help you get food. Like I just a said I was rod. gonna bring a line. You know, you know a line so I can catch fish. A yeah. fishing line. Well, listen, I don't think we can carry but so <laughs> much stuff. A tarp? That's in the survival a, kit. Yeah, that's in the survival All kit. All that is in the survival yep. kit. Fish First aid. Be in the survival exactly. kit. Everything. That's the cheap. matches yeah. should be in the survival kit. Bro, I'm First gonna just bring me. I'm going to bring me an Amazon. That's huh? it. I'm going to just bring Amazon. <laughs> Bro, you sound dumb <laughs> as hell. What? It's a survival kit. I'm bring Amazon. Bro. Bring the whole warehouse. Oh my God! Bring that the whole shit sound dumb as a bitch. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. The whole I would warehouse don't count as one thing. One thing. A whole survival kit, bro. If I got a bag and that's that count as one thing, I said three things. Hey, no, no, y'all I'm the ones done that with this conversation with you yeah, and the survival up. kit. Bro, bro, yeah, I listen, cannot believe you even set us up like that. Y'all yes, some we will shit. have a survival kit. <laughs> <laughs> How is it my fault? I'm gonna bring two oh, survival kits. That's, that's two angry. things, right? The, exactly. the first thing y'all motherfuckers said is y'all gonna bring a gun. Yeah. Wait, fuck no, you gonna bring no, a gun no. for? I gotta have my gun just what? in case. What happened when you run out of bullets? First off, in that survival kit it's is a book bag. I'm gonna be putting bullets yeah, in that it's bag. Have bullets okay. in my survival kit. It's not infinite bullets, motherfuckers. So you can still it's run not, out of bullets. But, but in, in that survival, survival kit, kit, you got knives. Food. You, you got knives in bro, there. But, but, you got why, food. Why not you got bring something seeds, like, you got a, like a fire? An yeah. archery set, a bow and arrow that you can literally make weapons out of. When's the last well, time you used can, a bow and arrow? Yeah. It don't matter. You I learned, make, motherfucker. You I would practice. Listen, listen. The one thing about shooting is I can shoot, right? Because I practice, motherfucker. We ain't practice with no bow and arrow. Making bows ain't rocket science. That shit ain't rocket science. It ain't. I promise you it ain't. I mean, we can make little knives and stuff too. You I'm can. just saying. But you do know that knives require you no, to that, get up on. No, that'll be in a survival kit. It, I, it, right. Even then, it, it requires you whatever the fuck you hunting to get well, up on that really, shit. really, if you got a good survival kit, you probably have the string and stuff. You can make you a bow. Get you a stick. I think yeah. you could do it. In the survival kit? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, mm-hmm. y'all niggas are tired. Anyway, uh, let's get <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's let's get to some some Survival of the kid. meat and potatoes. I can't believe him. Uh, tonight is fight night. It's one of the biggest fights that, uh, uh, yeah. in boxing history, to a d- degree. Real talk uh, between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. And this is for the undisputed welterweight championship. And it's been hyped up. They've been going all week long. Uh, Spitting that fire, you know what I'm saying? And, and 
The interesting thing about this is that it can go either way. So I wonder who y'all got, who you got, uh, and, and how, how they going to win. Unanimous decision, knockout, split decision. Reese, I'm going to start with you. I got Spence. It's going to go the distance. So you think Spence going to go to the scorecards? And how he going to win? Split decision, unanimous decision? It's probably going to be split. These judges nowadays are real funny. Man. I don't trust. I don't like going to the judges because I, I, lately they just been just left field with their, their scoring. But it's going to go the distance. It's going to be Spence. What about you, Mel? I think it's going to go all the way through, too. I mean, they're both good fighters. Um, so, I mean, I got Spence. I think he, you know, they talk about this crash and everything else, but I think he, he has something up his sleeve. I think he's going to be able to pull it off. So, I guess we'll see. Okay. Well, I got Bud. I got Bud. I feel like Bud is the better boxer. I feel like uh, while Earl Spence, he has skills. You know what I'm saying? He, he got skills. He got heart. He got power. Um, but boxing-wise, Terrence Bud Crawford is the better boxer. Terrence Bud Crawford can fight in any stance. He can switch it up. He can show Earl Spence different things, which can throw Earl off his game. And he got power. Earl Spence is 22, uh, 28 and 0 with 22 knockouts, while Terrence Bud Crawford is 39 and 0 with 30 knockouts. No matter what happens, the last 10 fights for Bud has been knockouts. Since Bud has become ha, has come to welterweight, he's not everybody out. So it's just one of those things where it's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, and one thing about Bud is every fight Bud has ever had, he has looked fantastic in all 39 fights. So it'll definitely be interesting to see. Looking forward to it. Um uh, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. I do got one question for y'all before we take another break. Um, tell me this. If you could live through a time in history, what time would it be? Like a decade? Like if you could live in the 1700s. Mm. You know, uh, bro, you know what color is? <laughs> no, like, you know what color? <laughs> like what? So, so is there any specific one that you no. would? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I wouldn't mind growing up in the sixties. Really? Yeah. Why the sixties? There's a lot of love. There's a lot of weed. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of love. A lot of love. <laughs> yeah, a lot of love. You be a hippie. Yeah, hippie, yeah, <laughs> definitely a hippie. To be honest, I wouldn't mind living in the 1700s. I mm-hmm. bet you wouldn't. Like, I, I think it's it's just a, a it's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Um, but no toilets. I'm kind of no lazy. No running water, oh. no lights. Well, I guess if, if that's all you knew, if you lived back then, you know. Right, exactly. Yeah. But I'll take I'm, you now. Straight, straight massa. Yeah. Mm-mm. Massa? Yeah, massa. Breaking your back. What the you, fuck is a going strong, on? Strong, strong black man. Uh-uh. Big old strong bull. That brings me to my next point. Don't smoke crack. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll be back <laughs> for the podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the Fuller Podcast. I'm your host, Avery Fuller, with my co-host and hostess, of course, <laughs> Maurice Burr, a.k.a. Reese, and that wife of mine, Mel Nisha, a.k.a. Mel. And um, I just want to point out real quick, we just got finished watching the um, Terrence Crawford and Beat Earl down. Spence Jr. fight. and mm. um, One-sided ass whooping. You know, actually, I just recently saw Mel and Maurice chose... Yeah. Uh, Earl Spence and <laughs> he's still sitting on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he got Willie really lump lump. Yeah, <laughs> that bit. You know what I'm saying? Did I, so did I, look, did I win the fight? He calling <laughs> call for a rematch though. Hey, hey people on Facebook blaming it on the Cowboys. Nah, bro, he just oh, it's wow. Cowboys he fault. He, it, it, he was out technique. It was ever just bad. <laughs> bad. All right, well, as y'all know, it is about that time. <laughs> Put them up. As always, drink responsibly and drink your water and throw it back because it's shot o'clock. clock. 
Whoa, I should bite. Not this hen dog. Ugh. Sipping on that hen dog. All right, next up, we got one has to go. And if you don't know what one has to go, that is simple. You go on social media, you'll see what the fuck it is. One got to go. We're going to show four to six pictures or objects, and one got to go. So let's go. What you got? Oh, so we got Spider Man, Black Panther, Ant Man, and Dr. Strange. One is already. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Mm, so, <clears throat> Spider Man, Ant Man, Black Panther, and Doctor Strange. Which one got to go? Ant Man got to go. No, most. I mean, one is already gone. Is that fair? Of course, it's fair. But Ant Man can carry his ass somewhere. Well, I would have Your to pick. say. Uh, To be honest, it will probably have to be Doctor Strange. What? Yeah. I think Doctor Strange has the most, he created the most problems. You know what I'm saying? Literally. If you take a look at the films for Doctor Strange and the role that he's played, he literally could have saved Tony Stark. Here we go. He literally brought back motherfuckers from other Spider-Man movies. Wait. Wait. But the other girl could have saved Tony Stark, too. What other girl? What is her name? I don't even want to speak her name, really. That's why I just forgot about her name. It's the reason you forgot, because that yeah, bitch don't I'm, exist. Oh, I'm, she does. I'm curious on who you're talking about. Well, what's that whole name? Scarlet Witch? No. Captain Marvel. What the fuck? It was her. How could she have saved Tony Stark? She don't know. Cause she could, she could have held the um, the glove. She stones. could have did that, bro. Clearly, I don't. Where was she, she at? Could. What do you she mean? She was nowhere to be found. She the one took the glove off the nigga hand, if I recall. She was late. Okay, she was out saving other goddamn hemispheres. I ain't, I ain't trying to hear hemispheres. that. Hemispheres. Listen, all I'm saying is Wait, human spheres. Whatever, nigga. It is what it is. <laughs> shit. Hemisphere. All I'm saying is, it's just one of those things where I feel like Doctor Strange, he has the ability to cre- create problems. You know, he does. He he moved through the multiverse in ways that, you know, create problems. He brought mm-hmm. people from other multiverses to our multiverse or to our u- universe, creating problems. Uh, even in the first one, he was creating problems. You know, so I feel like if one got to go, he he the one that got to go. Okay. Ant Man just a fucking retard. That um, got he could get skinny and small and control ants and shit. That's a good great skill to have. What Spider Man is the Spider Man. What okay. if I recall? Hey, hey, listen, we What's are talking handy? about insects and animals. Which one is Doctor Strange? We are what? not. No, he's no, we're not. He's not an insect or animal. Exactly. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who did Doctor Strange save? He just saved the world. Who? How? And the, the world that he one- fucked up. He said the world that he fucked up. When did he fuck up the but world? But he can fix it. He If he ain't fuck it up, it. but in the first place, he ain't gotta fix it. When did he fuck up the world? What you mean when he fuck up the world? Bro, yeah, if I recall, did he didn't he cast a spell to bring all the Spider Man's enemies into our uh, multiverse or our universe? No. No? Wait, wait. No. He was he was trying to help Spider Man. Are you I, <laughs> no, are y'all, what the fuck is happening right now? So, so he was trying to help him at one point. He didn't bring other motherfuckers from other multiverses, including other Spider Mans, into our universe. No, no, I Spider Man messed that up when he was in there talking. Spider Man couldn't have done it if Doctor Strange won't deal. It was Doctor Strange so spell, right? Blame Doctor Strange. He was trying to help him. It don't matter. He listen, listen. The um, what's the the Chinese dude name? Wong. Wong. Wong told him don't do it. Wong, yeah. Wong is the the what what is the the something supreme or some some shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wong told him don't do it. He, he did it in a goddamn supreme. way. Yeah. Which is a problem. So, for me, he that's why Doctor Strange got to go. How, he he thought he had it. He thought he had it. <laughs> <laughs> he thought like Nick thought you pulled it, but you shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we got our social media video of the day. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right. <clears throat> 
not splitting the bear, Shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split My the bear? Is, you got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bear. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. We split the bear. My thing is, y'all doing too much. Y'all okay. doing way too much. We didn't order all that. Going out. Okay, so from what I saw, it looked like that they was talking about splitting a bill evenly, right? Yeah, that was Meaning, good. if we all go out to eat and I order steak and lobster, right? You order uh, onion ring <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and a soda. Right? And, and a soda. And a water with no ice. And, and Reese, you order uh, uh, fish and chips. Filet mignon. Right? Mm. And then I, I order five more drinks. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And then I say we should split the bill. Yeah, like I'm gonna say we're gonna split this check. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, sir. I'm gonna check, split they, your motherfucking wig. That was forty six hundred dollar check, which I still don't understand what in the world, what restaurant they went to. And it would look like six or ten of them. They spent forty six hundred dollars. What I don't understand is why would the expectation be that we're gonna gather this entire bill together and then we're gonna Take a piece of the piece, evenly. That's just mm. crazy. I never as even... if what I bought was more or less than what you bought. When everything is priced differently. First of all, why would you get the check together when it's that many motherfuckers? It would have been off the top. Like, no, we're splitting bills. Yeah, it, we're splitting exactly. Bills. Mine is mine or whatever. That ain't even been a question. I, I, I might have paid like... for the birthday girl if that was my out my girl. But I I almost no. feel like it's the waitress fault. I don't, because I feel, like, I feel because like they were opportunists. I feel like the, the waitress should have came in there and say, "All right, whose check is what?" Well, you know, some places don't allow you to split. Some places don't let you split the check. Man, listen. All I know is it's no way in fucking hell that I'm gonna go somewhere yeah, with a group no of way. people, right. and I'm gonna that's split dead. a bill evenly. That that's, just don't make that's sense. That's dead. That that is that is, <sighs> and the expectation like it makes no sense for, and, and that might go back to one of the conversations we had before, like the women. They was the go, ones was that it show dudes, had the expectation. Broke, y'all, no, baby, I'm not. I don't have to be broke because I'm not trying to pay. You look. They had lamb chops and and steaks. Lamb and all chop, that. like wow. Bruh. And I'm over there with my little my little buffalo wing appetizer. My, bitch, my wings. Bitch came and got lamb chops on the Uda Nuda budget. It on Uda Nuda. <laughs> on, on the Vienna sausage budget. What you mean? Her motherfucking pockets fucked up. She they said, uh, "Crazy four to six hundred dollar bill. That's crazy." But bro. but I I, I, I feel like. Your pocket's got to be fucked up for you to argue that like that. It wouldn't even have been a question. Like, no, we're splitting check. We're split the check up. That shit just don't make sense. I don't understand it. But that's what p- people do. So for those out there that is paying attention, uh, make sure that y'all are clear on what the fuck y'all going to do in the process yeah. in which y'all plan to uh, go out to eat. You go out to eat with your friends. Make sure y'all know, bitch, you paying for yourself. It ain't even a, a thought. Like if we, if you say let's go out to eat, and then I come over there, and I and I have a, a lamb chop, steak, four margaritas, two uh, Hennessy's and cokes, Bruh. and you over there with your with your uh, a Caesar salad and dinner rolls, and I be like, all right, we're gonna split the bill. Man, you gonna look at me crazy as hell. Uh-uh. It's it's only one <laughs> like, person no. that that know for sure every time that we go out that. Either I'm gonna pay for it or they gonna pay for it. Yeah, that, exactly. And you know that, what I'm saying? Like, like it's only one person who I'm gonna go out with, and I'm gonna feel like, no. And, and even with her, if we go out, I'm gonna say, uh, "You paying for this?" Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I ain't got it, I ain't got it. Now, if I don't say nothing, then I probably got it. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. I can rightfully assume that she got it because I know what she got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But either way, you know, I, I'm not going out with a group of motherfuckers and they say we're going to split the bill. That's like, y'all got me fucked me. up. Unless we, not yeah, even if we crazy. all got the same thing. Like, no. It's not Bruh. happening. That's, <laughs> that shit is crazy. All right. It is uh, blind reaction time. We got oh, blind reaction. Oh. If y'all don't know, we're going to watch a video we ain't never seen before. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let me do this by myself. And I want to dedicate it to the 
families and ask Doesn't God to give them words to say. <laughs> I write songs and do stuff like that, but I'm not praying, Lord. I want to say uh, a little song there that I want to dedicate to the family. I love you very much. I know God is going to see about everything because He sees about everybody, Lord, all the time. And I'm trying to attempt to do this little song. to a ghost <laughs> what the fuck just happened? did you see that shit no you no. ain't seen her just like disappear yeah she just flew away or something god said it's time it's time for her to go it's bro a, it's, it's time <laughs> bro i think she sounded pretty good man now whatever. you know she did not whatever yeah y'all don't think she sounded okay man, no. No. not at all she not, said not never would have made no she didn't say nothing like that <laughs> She didn't even sound like that. Never could have made it. Bruh. Was she at a just, was this just like church or was she at a funeral? Either one, they were dating. At a funeral? I, I, I definitely hope that it was. It was a like funeral. Church. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, it was a funeral. It was mm. a funeral. Yeah. That, he that's, probably that's rolled crazy. over here in that. <laughs> yeah. He's exactly. like, I'm ready. Listen, I think we got another blind reaction. Okay, yeah, I want to see it. Um, you got another one? Okay. Yeah. No. Let's go. Right, let's let's go. take a look. What no. you got? Let's see. I don't know. Reference, this is how hairy my butt is now. All right, so step one <laughs> is to squeeze this cream onto your hand. So I'm going yeah. to be doing just that. Oh, shit. All right, now it says to apply a thick, even layer to yeah, cover hair. Do not reaction. rub it in. So let's do that. <laughs> Don't forget to cover the cheeks as well. <laughs> Setting a timer for three minutes. Don't go past three oh, minutes because I did that with my oh, armpits. Like I went to five minutes, minutes and it literally burned and stung so bad. So stick to three. I'm gonna go wash my hands now real fast. We have one minute left. So far there's no stinging, nothing's hurting. It's all good. Check small area. Thicker hair may require more time. So let's check a small area first. Taking like my damp paper towel that I got from the kitchen. Oh my God. So some hairs came off, but I feel like I need a little bit more time. Okay, I'm just gonna like swipe it because like it's been four to five minutes and like my armpits are still recovering from like the sting from yesterday. So I'm just gonna like avoid that and like just hope for the best. Oh my God, that was one swipe. God damn, a lot of the hairs came out, you guys. Okay, so I folded the paper towel, and this is like a clean side, and I just swiped it again, so 
clearly it's working. Folding it again. I think this is like the last of it. This is how my butt looks pre-rinse and pre-shower and post hair removal cream. I'm going to take a shower and clean the area and come back and show you what the results are. All right, guys, I'm back from my shower, did my nighttime skincare. This is how my butt looks post-shower, post-rinse, and post-hair removal cream. Oh, my gosh. Bro, why is... Why? Obviously, there is are some hairs on my cheeks like still, that. like stray hairs, but like know, overall, I think we did really good. And I think this Nair <laughs> hair removal cream did a really <laughs> good job. Bro, really, uh, you don't make you gay to I, I got this at Target. It was literally just like $10. Ass it ass is anyway. called the Nair body cream. Eating ass and eating ass. It comes in like a man ass and woman ass. It's the same thing. You want to twist it around. You get rid of your butt hairs using the Nair hair removal cream or really any hair removal creams in general. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a Good thumbs answers. up. It really does no help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click okay. the links below for my full bottoming course, fully updated with what? like hella visual tutorials and subscribe like hella guides and stuff like that. Trust me, you Bro. won't be disappointed. And of course, that video got 37 million views. I bet. That video literally got 37 million views. Yeah, we got two more. After you don't watch about five times, huh? I watched it five times. I don't know how many times you've seen it. Why, why are you accusing me of watching something five times because you eat ass? What? Fuck they got to do with the price of tea in China. See, how many times you watched the video, Avery? Bro, listen, you got an opportunity to see some ass and, and, and enjoy wow. your, your work. You enjoy it? You enjoy that video? What do you mean? Do I enjoy it? It's a, Did you enjoy the, that video? The That's point, what you're saying? You looked at it so of, you enjoyed it. It's, it's a video, bro. Of a man with his ass bust Fuck open. What does that mean? No, bust bro. Bust open. He spread it open. He's showing you how to take the hair out the crack of your ass. I don't need that tutorial, bro. Oh, so you know how to take the hair out the crack of your ass? I already. don't need that tutorial. I don't worry about that part. Oh. I don't have to worry about none of that. Oh, okay. Well, listen, to each his own. But those that do got hair in the crack of their ass that don't know how to get the hair out. That video is for you. That <laughs> video is for you. You're right. That video is for you. Unfortunately, he had to show his ass in order to get his point across. He needed uh, to show you the results. Did y'all see Reese lick his lips? When? <laughs> Not at all. And again, why were you watching me if I did lick what my lips? What you mean watching you? <laughs> that makes me it even. That makes it even worse. Oh, then look up not one time, but you were watching me lick my lips. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's alright, Reese. You know everybody got their thing, man. Teachers on it. Another unnecessary weird video. <laughs> I figured you was going to show that video, actually. Really? Yeah. How you figure that? Because you sent it to me. What do I mean? Uh, okay. We're going to um, take a shot to that shit because I don't know what the fuck that nigga talking about. Sure. I mean, which which one of the videos is this like the weirdest? Would you say this the weirdest Yeah, yeah. Video? Let's, let's talk about that. I don't know. You know, you've you, you been kind of... Because I don't know, you know... The whole point of a blind reaction is been, to blindly react to a, a weird, video. Weird wave of blind reactions. Huh. Well, we had pretty what's, bitch what's, at what's first. What's weird about it? Yes. Right. We Which had won't them. that bad. That won't that bad. That then, wasn't then, that bad at all. Then we went to... What was the one after that one? Jesus is my nigga. Jesus, Jesus my, my, that my was nigga. another one that mm -hmm. won't that bad. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so the, now we, we two for four, two for five. Then we went to the pedophile shuffle. Uh-huh. That won't that bad. That won't that bad. That won't that bad. No, that was no, a dance. No, that bad. So that you mean to tell me that the pedophile shuffle was worse than Jesus is my nigga? No. The Wait, worst, ain't nothing fact, the worse two, is the Jesus. Uh, what was it, the anal? The yes, the, right. Is, I'm, Fuck I'm me in the ass because I love Jesus. Right, yes, yes. Right. exactly. That, <laughs> yes. I, that that was horrible. That was horrible. But yes. I, I believe that's the point. Mm. The point is to get a blind reaction to yeah, something. Yeah, well, you right. got my well, reaction. Well, I would say that one was the worst. So. What, the fuck me in the ass and I love Jesus? Yeah. No, the dude just showed his ass crack with his ball hammers. Was, uh, I mean, what? what? <laughs> I just made and that word ball, up. What? He's showing his butt and his, his balls. His balls That's like the edge of his nuts. I don't That's, that's <laughs> I don't believe. His uvula. <laughs> 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 it ain't no, no different from you getting a uh, Japanese uh, sun what? monkey. That's totally different. <laughs> well, what, what's the other one called that that y'all was talk, talking about? When all the dudes in the same room? What? Oh, putting it on the cracker. Uh, exactly. Yeah, you were the telling us about biscuit? that. Oh, yeah. 
so nasty. <laughs> the soggy biscuit. That's What's the gross. soggy biscuit, Reese? <laughs> it's disgusting. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what what it is. is it? I'm not going to explain what a soggy biscuit is. Oh my gosh. That's just uh, disgusting. That shit is disgusting. I think it's people that want to know, Reese. You should tell them. Yeah. With a soggy biscuit? Yeah. yeah what's a soggy when biscuit? When dudes you get a, a biscuit, somebody's holding a biscuit, and dudes circle around, and the last one who nuts on the biscuit has to eat it. Thank you. <laughs> that is so gross. Oh, man. That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Have you discovered anything else? Oh, yeah. Mm. What else? You, what else? you ever had a, a Mexican pancake? No. A Mexican pancake? You sure? That? I'm sure. It's when a dude busts on your face and he lets it dry, dry up like makeup. And then he peels it off and feeds it to you. <laughs> Oh my god! It's a Mexican pancake. <laughs> Why is it? I don't even know. You're lie. welcome. Orale, la diva la raza. <laughs> oh my god! I've been today. What's that burrito sauce? What's they call that sauce? <laughs> the white sauce. Yeah, you, 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 you know you like that white sauce. <laughs> oh my god! That's why you take it to the Mexican restaurant. See how much white sauce she eats. Exactly, and, and Mel eats a lot. Of the white sauce, man. She, she she gets white sauce to go. <laughs> I bet she does. Okay, it is a sauce they make. Okay, <laughs> it, it, it is a chips. sauce they she make. Start explaining the sauce. Yes, for the chip. It, it is be a on sauce chip. they make. <laughs> like a like a uh, not like that. a soggy biscuit. Mm-mm, no, damn, no, damn, not like that. Not a soggy biscuit. That's nasty. Well, All right, these crackers. Too. Y'all, y'all pull y'all last shot. What y'all doing? Y'all playing games. Everybody, take a look at Maurice and, and Mel. They're playing games right now. It is shot o'clock. clock. How you just going to call us out like that? I mean, ain't calling anybody out. Not, you calling yourself out. How? I got my shot. I'm ready. Are y'all ready? No. I'm ready. We're not ready. Not at all. To take my shot forever. Hey, love now. Oh shit! You might well fill it up. That's the last one. <laughs> She's like, "Fuck that." There you go, Reese. Pass it that way. Oh. Yeah, it's niggas over there. Oh, don't don't get that nigga now. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is done. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> like that right there. Done. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we got an audience today, and it she is done. <laughs> Looking like a goddamn mama. All right. With that said, man, listen, it's been uh, an interesting episode today. My heart rate got up when I was watching the fight, and uh, I'm pleased with the results. I was going for uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, and uh, he put this on the clinic. Back. If they, they, he said he want to fight in December. To yeah, get his ass that ain't going to happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he he going to get a hell of a Christmas present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, Merry Christmas, nigga. Ugly. <laughs> Anytime that motherfucker jab your ass and he was right, his head right. snapping back like that, like nigga, look like he broke his uvula again. Yeah, uh-huh. that's, that shit was just <laughs> the bad. word of the day, uvula. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it <laughs> means. I just like how it sound. <laughs> it was ugly. All right, with that said, y'all, look, let's take this final shot of the day. It's been a journey. It's been a great night. Uh, shout out to Uncle Vernon. Happy birthday to him. Yes. And um, nice happy birthday. With that said. Drink responsibly, drink some water. But right now, take this shot, throw it back. And we out of here. Chug a lot. Peace. Chug a lot. Chug a lot. Damn. Whew. All right.